Hi everybody, welcome to sunny Sydney. So I'm on the road again, Nomad Lena, and I want to shout out to my darling friend who hosts me when I'm up here, which is John. Thank you, my darling. Mwah, mwah. Okay, so I wasn't really prepared for this reading um, and that's probably obvious looking at me. I'm devoid of jewels. I wasn't going to do a reading tonight. I've had a red wine. But the day's news just meant that I couldn't stay away. So here we are. And I thought, what better topic but an update on what's happening with the Trump family. I did one about them around Christmas. And that was a lifetime ago, as we all know. But just in the last 24 hours, we've had Giuliani. Who needs an enemy when you've got Giuliani on your team? It's beautiful, isn't it? I don't know what was funnier, Giuliani or Hannity on Fox, who um, was just trying to make sense of what Giuliani was saying, particularly now he's on Trump's legal team. So as I'm sure you all know, he said, yeah, Trump, of course, he gave Michael Cohen $130,000 to sort out Stormy, that's what you do, which completely contravenes everything Trump and Cohen have been saying. And as if that wasn't enough, he also had to wade in on the Comey firing. Yeah, Trump fired him because he wouldn't say that Trump was not the subject or the target of an investigation by the FBI. So this is just a gift to Mueller. What is he thinking? What drugs is Giuliani on or what drugs has Giuliani not taken is all I can say about that interview. Really, truly. And then, of course, you had the other startling news. Now, such well-informed viewers as I have will know um, Cambridge Analytica. As I predicted, they've dissolved Cambridge Analytica. We know why. Because they've started Emma Data. So they can leave Cambridge Analytica with all the shit in the world, walk away, and they'll continue going forward as Emma Data more people should point this out to the relevant parties. Okay. But this little reading, just to keep you up to date, is about what's happening in the Trump family. So it's a fairly random reading in that sense. It's, that's the big topic, and we'll see if we can drill down and find out a bit of gossip, shall we? Okay, so the Trump family. I'll do a series of smaller readings. What's going on for Donald Trump and the immediate family? Trump, Trump, Trump and family. Okay, well, in the centre, hope, joy, inspiration, all the good things. So let's see what the universe has to say in relation to that. Oh, yes, okay. Now, I'm on an awkward table in an awkward situation, so hopefully my computer won't crash backwards. Yes, yes. So. Look, okay, this is the generic one for the family. The family started off as star-studded. They worked their way up from um, obscurity in the social world to be the stars of who can get richest fastest, who can be the most shallow. And they sort of were winning in a way in New York, but then they took on the wider field of the world where they've slumped badly. So in the centre, this was when everything was rosy. This is how they essentially saw themselves as a family. The family who had everything and was going to be infinitely more successful. 
Behind that in the recent past, King of Wands. No prizes for guessing. That's the mad father. And I feel really sad when I see Trump come up as the King of Wands because the King of Wands can be a really generous person, someone who really cares about people. And this narcissistic nut job is the complete antithesis of that. This is an unevolved king of wands. So for those of you learning tarot, understanding the spectrum of meanings, here you go, Trump as the king of wands. So underneath it all, it starts to get a little bit more sinister. You have the six of swords, which in the rider weight is rowing away, trying to save the family. That's the critical element of that interpretation. For the sake of getting away with the wife and kiddies, leaving. So as Eric, as Frodo and Don Jr. and Ivanka, poor Tiffany doesn't really rate a mention and Baron's too young. So for the three anointed ones, in relation to what's happening with the family, they're breaking down into their individual units. Hmm. Over the top of them, karma, the wheel of fortune. They spun the wheel and now they have to live it. None of the things that are going to happen to the immediate members of the family are good. Okay, now what constitutes good for the family is not getting 20 years, getting 18 months. That constitutes a good deal. Or alternatively, not going to prison, but dobbing your sister, brother, brother-in-law, whatever, in it. Even your father in it. They're completely at the mercy of destiny. This has to play out. And that is exactly what is going to happen. So short term, it's not as spectacular in the Celtic deck, I think, this particular one in terms of the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles fools gold. So they're skewered essentially on the altar of greed and money. And there are six swords skewering them. So whether that's six trumps, because by the time you include a few wives, there could easily be six, or whether it's six separate um, legal particular charges or whatever, the number six has some relevance in their karmic destiny that they have in fact prostrated themselves in front of the altar of money. So that's them generally. I'll put those back and we'll just ask a few other questions, shall we, about who's going to dob on who. Okay, so. Will Ivanka dob on her brother? Is that an expression you have in the States when you actually sort of pimp on someone or tell the teacher that another kid's done something? It's called dobbing. And it sort of comes with a death sentence in Australian culture. But the term dobber is actually abusive. So to dob on someone, particularly someone in your family, is beyond redemption. So my question is, now I've explained dobbing, um, is Ivanka going to dob on her father? What do you reckon, Ivanka? Okay. Ah, oh, she's here. She always turns up for me as the Empress. There she is. Mother of the kitties. She's got three kitties. Do not be surprised if Ivanka turns up pregnant in this next little while. I said in one of her earlier readings... She'd do anything to stay out of jail. She's hoping a pregnant or lactating mother isn't going to be sent to inside. Hmm. So that's a new take on the Empress. 
the divine one. Okay, back to Ivanka. She was the star in his world. The Six of Wands reversed. That's interesting. So, Wands, Willpower, Fire, all those things. But there's tension and conflict. It is reversed, which affects the other cards. So, the it's directly under the Empress. She's not feeling like an Empress, intrepid viewers. She is so not feeling it. Oh, and the Ten of Swords which is really the end of the end and you really can't do much in terms of interpreting the ten of swords except to say to the person who's being read oh you poor thing except i can't because it's a banker um coming up for her the knight of wands so this could be the deal the opportunity and the deal she could easily do her father in when I say easily it's all right for me to say but I think there's a strong chance she's got wands going on here she has to weigh up other readers have said this too of course she has to weigh up who she's going to protect in this debacle herself Jared the kids the sort of thing it's entirely possible Ivanka will take a deal to say something about her father she can't have it both ways. First daughter and senior advisor to the White House. As a senior advisor to the White House, she's been privy to all this shit from day one. Absolutely day one. So my question now is out of the three of them, Donald Jr., Eric and Ivanka, will they turn on each other? Will the siblings turn on each other? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, okay. Uh -huh. I'm sorry to tantalise you viewers. In the centre, the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords, also known as the Spy. Not only will they turn on each other, one or other, and I made this about the three of them, could be wearing a wire. It's the card of the Spy. Okay? So it doesn't look good in the central position. Pages being youthful also indicate to me they're going to flip back into how they were as teenagers with each other. You know how that works? Siblings actually grow up in different families, they find out, you know, because your sibling order determines so much about you and how people think of you and it's really hard to ever change your sibling position. I am 62, but I will forever be the baby to my siblings. And that's just how it is. Now, it's the same with the Trump sibs, except for poor bloody Tiffany, um, who grew up under the wing of the mother of dragons, Ivana herself. They're going to revert to those behaviours. All right. Now, behind this, the Four of Pentacles re-evaluation of values I don't think they're going to re-evaluate why am I a vacant capitalist why am I a miserable self-serving sod no not that sort of re-evaluation it's a re-evaluation family's important you do it for family but I've got my family now so I have to dob in the other members of my family this is conflict in this sense within family it's a messy re-evaluation and the reason I say it's conflict is because they get the seven of wands conflict 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 and 
if I wasn't quite sure, over the lot you have the Nine of Swords. This is serious stuff. This is fight to the death. They are possibly spying on each other. If they're not actually spying for Muller, they're spying within the family circuit because they need dirt on each other to get themselves off the hook. And that is because they're under all this sword's energy. And if that wasn't enough, they get the Ace of Swords, <coughs> Truth and Justice, meaning Muller is there. He will play one off against the other and we'll see who caves first, who gives up the most, and they will be fighting each other to give up more dirt on the other. Ooh, not the nicest of people, not the nicest of readings. You would not want to be intimately related to these people. Ooh, everything is family until it involves me losing something and then you're the washing out to dry, huh? All right, so having confessed to having the red wine, I am now going to leave you with that thought, but I just had to share some of the immediate news. The White House is spinning out of control. The next thing that will probably happen is John Kelly will probably be moved to Veterans Affairs. Veterans are very upset at this point because Trump, like all leaders, comes in going, our vets, our vets. Well, why are so many thousands of vets homeless every night of the year? Why do people have to wait four and five and six and 15 years for treatment? Why are people not getting the help they need? All right. So veterans are not happy. He'll spoon feed them a general. It allows him to get rid of Kelly. That is my take on that. So Kelly will be moved to Veteran Affairs. Who will be the new Chief of Staff? What lucky person is going to have that on their resume? Who would put up their hand for that except someone absolutely cretinous and shallow like Scaramucci or someone totally inappropriate? Who the f wants to be in that role? I can't think of a single human with a brain who would go near it with a barge pole. So that's going to be interesting, troops. All right. Love you. Bye.